should do it. Hi, uh, and uh, welcome back. I talked about doing a combat basic video um, for new players. This, I want to underline that this is for new players. Uh, anyone who has spent probably more than 10 minutes in the game will probably have figured most of this shit out anyway. So I am basically just here to confirm that yes, you did experience this correctly. Or maybe add a few more details. First of all, I want to say that uh, when you first enter your keep, coming from uh, here, to go up these stairs, out this door, and to the back of this area with the big tree, you will find target dummies. You will have your regular target dummies here, you will have the armored versions up there. Um, the good thing about target dummies is that they allow you to test out certain things. For example, this is just a regular hit, body hits, headshots, regular hit against an armor. As you saw, it did zero damage. If you also notice, at the reticle, the white dot in the middle of the screen that you aim with, that was a crit reset. You see this red triangle. That red triangle means that your attacks are not penetrating the armor. So if you are doing either melee or ranged and you're hitting something that has armor and you're using the type of attack that does not penetrate armor, that red triangle will let you know that your attacks are inefficient. Um, and you need to change it up doing charged attacks, which for most weapons has an armor penetrating attribute to it. Okay, so. I want to do this tutorial as basic as possible. I don't want to get into how you combine everything and, and, and when to best use certain things and which weapons does what best and so on, because that's much, much more advanced. Um, because you can really get into, because it's not just the weapons, also the properties and the traits and the combination of them and so on. So uh, if you just are just starting out Vermintide, most people just run up to an enemy and start spamming the mouse button, right? Just over and over again, and that's it. They're just standing there, they're not blocking, they're not dodging, they're not doing anything, they just spam, they're trading blows and hoping that you kill them before they kill you. On Recruit, most of the time that works all right because you are kind of beefy because they're not really hitting you that hard. Uh, there's not that many enemies um, as there are on higher difficulties. So you can kind of get away with this because you are, you know, hitting them and killing them uh, but you will eventually need uh, your healing once you get surrounded that's when it starts uh, getting critical because you're just like just doing like this you're just hitting things and keep spamming and so on and they're hitting you as well and eventually you will go down because there are believe it or not way more rats in this game than uh, than there are you so yeah so the first thing that I want to go over is every melee weapon has three types of attack. There's one exception to this. This is uh, Salt Spire's Rapion Pistol that also has a special attack uh, where you can shoot the pistol. But besides that one, all other melee weapons have three basic attacks. They have your regular attacks. They have a charged attack and they have a push attack. Okay, so how do you do each of them? Well, regular attacks just spam the left mouse button. If you hold the left mouse button for a time, it'll start a charged animation. You don't have to hold, if you just keep holding it, eventually it'll just finish the animation. But you can also just start the animation and then let go, making the attack slightly faster which means you don't have to wind it all the way up. Now, without going too much into detail, there are certain weapons that has 
damage based on how much you wind them up. But for now, fuck it. Basic attacks, charge the attack. And if you want to do the push attack, you need to hold block and do a charge attack, meaning holding the attack button. It'll do a push followed by an attack. Each weapon has its own push attack version. They have their own type of charge attacks and they have their own sequence of attacks. So what I mean by that is if I do one click, you see I hit with the sword. I have a sword and a dagger, right? So I hit with the sword. If I click twice, click, click, it's sword, sword. Three times, click, click, click. That means sword, sword, dagger. Sword, sword, dagger, stab. So the fourth one is a stab. Okay. One, two, three, four. If I do five, it actually, oh, it reset, it goes back. So the sword and dagger has a four combo sequence, so to speak, that it'll repeat over and over and over again if you just keep spamming your attack button. Now, if I like the first two attacks, the two slices, but I don't want to wait, like I don't want to do attack, attack, and then wait, and then, okay, attack, attack, and then wait, okay, and then I can block. If I throw in a block, it resets the sequence, which means I can do boom, boom, block, boom, boom, block. You don't have to hold the block the whole way, it can just be like, just a click is enough. So once you get used to that, you can then manipulate the sequence of your attacks. But that's moving into more than the basics, so leave that for now. Okay, so up on the armored ones, you will notice that the first attack, unless critical, critical hits always penetrate armor. So not crit, that was a crit, not crit, not crit, not crit, not crit, not crit. Not crit. So those three attacks, the first three attacks don't actually hurt armored. So Storm Mermans, Chaos Warriors, all those don't really care unless you crit hit them. So, but you saw the last one, the fourth one, the stab does do armored damage. So if you're fighting a Storm Merman, you can either just flail away and every fourth hit you will do some damage. If you do the push attack, that does the stab. That actually does damage it. However, not by very much. And it costs you stamina to do the push, the push attack. Um, this is where you're using your charged attacks. Now this particular weapon, the sword and dagger, the second charged attack is much higher damage against armor. So I don't really care about this one. I just want to do that one. So how do I forego the first one? Well, actually for this particular weapon, if I do a push first straight into a charged, it'll it'll do that one instead. It'll forego the first one. So actually, and the push is still armor piercing, right? So with this weapon, when you see a storm mermaid, go into it, do that, and it's dead. Yeah. So instead of just flailing away, not doing any damage and just hoping for criticals or that last fourth hit. So realizing what you're fighting, realizing which enemies are armored, which are not armored, when can you just flail away with your normal uh, spamming attack button, and when do you need to change it up to your charge attacks? Um, yeah. Okay, so just to recap, regular attacks, just spam your attack button. Charge attack, hold the attack button a little bit longer. Hold the block while doing a charge attack. We'll do the push attack. Those are your three attack types. Defense. You have three defensive moves. You have a push, which is when you hold block, instead of doing a charge attack, you just do a regular click attack and you'll just push. Pushing will move enemies away and it might also stagger them. It might even knock them on their ass if they are particularly weak, like the clan rats, or if you're using a weapon that has a very high stagger score. 
Um, you can also have different talents that improve your stagger and you can also the properties on your weapons when you have bonus power because power in itself increases stagger so if you have like 10 percent bonus to stagger, 10 percent power versus a certain type of enemy that also counts into your stagger some weapons can stagger more powerful enemies rule of thumb is the smaller and faster the weapon the less big enemies it can stagger or the less powerful attacks it can stagger stagger also means that you interrupt and stun your opponent so if the opponent is about to attack you and you just punch them in the face they kind of like get staggered and like what the fuck happened and don't complete their attack unless for example it's a storm Berman and is doing the overhead attack which is a powerful attack not all weapons can interrupt that actually very few weapons can interrupt that particular attack because it's a very powerful one the sidewind that they do can actually be interrupted by most weapons but you will figure this out when you're trying to interrupt attacks that don't get interrupted and then when you start getting the correct um properties and high enough power then all of a sudden you are actually staggering enemies that you couldn't before which feels great because it gives you much more control. Push, your first defensive maneuver. The second is what I'm doing right now. You just hold block. Block is amazing at keeping you safe. However, block is limited. You have a certain number of uh, shields, as you can see in the middle of the screen, uh, whenever you block. Uh, it's also called stamina. Different weapons have different amounts of stamina. Shield weapons have much more stamina uh, and can therefore block much more, much more efficiently. Um, every weapon has, uh, you can see where it says stamina three. There is uh, an angle. It shows the effective block angle. That means that anything within that angle in front of me I will block, it'll have a normal block cost, which means I can block a lot more effectively, uh, a lot more attacks without losing too much stamina within that. Block works 360 degrees all the way around you, which means if someone is behind you and you're holding block, they can't stab you in the back because you're blocking. However, it does cost twice the stamina. So if you're getting surrounded and you're just holding block, they will drain you from stamina very, very quickly. That leads us to the last one, which is the dodge. You dodge by using directional keys to the side or backwards or both and space. To the side, to the side, backwards or diagonally. What about forward? Well, forward in space is a jump. Uh, the difference between jumping and dodging is that dodge has something called invulnerability flame. flames, frames invulnerability frames which means that during this move you can't get hit by anything that was about to attack you when you initiated this if you're jumping you're not vulnerable which means they can they're fine hitting you and you will get your ass handed to you you can dodge and block at the same time this actually keeps you very safe because the few attacks that might get through your dodge your block will then deal with uh, that is also how you or oh, getting into the advanced but oh, just quickly if you're dodging and pushing and blocking at the same time like you're holding block you're dodging and you're pushing things this is how you basically maneuver whatever you're fighting getting them in in front of you and getting around them and like so you're not getting surrounded but that's way too much so again keeping it very basic have your regular attacks notice if you're fighting something armored if you're fighting armored try the charged attacks if you're seeing that red triangle telling you that you're not penetrating their armor um, if you have something in front of you the push attack is a great attack also and again certain weapons their push attack does special special things uh, this particular push attack has armor penetration um, Block, that was a jump, dodge, and push. That's it. Now, let's go put that into uh, practice, shall we?
just a little bit. Um, I, I know that I could just go in the modded realm and then spawn enemies in in the middle of the keep and show you that, but it's I'm, I'm not that technically savvy and I'll fuck it up and destroy my computer along the way, so I'll just jump into a normal mission and show you. I could also spend hours editing this and just go to like straight to this and then show you game footage and all this stuff, but that would require me to not be 43 years old and never have talked to a program like that. Anyway, so. For the purpose of just showing the various uh, things, we'll just go on a low difficulty uh, where they don't really do anything. I don't want to do a quick play. I want to do this and keep it private so that I don't get random people in who are like, are we going to finish this? And, and I'm going to be like, no, I'm just showing people shit. Okay, so it's just going to be me and the bots. Uh, the bots are going to be way overpowered here. I. I did another video on bots, which is instead of me doing like a proper tier and setting everything up and doing graphs and all that stuff, it's basically just me sitting having a conversation with you and just my thoughts about so on. So if you like that format, come on in, make some coffee, sit down, have a listen. Uh, if you like more like straight to the point, all this up there is a lot of guides out there, a lot of people who spent tons of hours just so that you don't have to sit and go through all of this waiting time that you can just get all the important bits spot on yeah go see them please go see them it is well worth it and they do a lot of hard work okay so now using the basics of combat in valentine 2 we're gonna i give fair warning any of this all right, just let me just me, uh, uh, no again. click this here. Here we go. Oh, I uh, can't bother with name. Sorry. I yeah, I'm very bad at noticing the stream at the same time as I'm doing this shit. Kind of like get into this zone. Uh, I have. Let me see exactly on a few hours in it. Uh, I'm at three thousand six hundred and fifty-four hours. So. A few. Uh, yeah. All right, so we have a normal enemy. Basic defense, block. There you go. Sorry, my bot. My bot's gonna kill everything. Uh, all right, okay. We'll get. We'll, we'll try and get them busy with stuff. There's a berserker there. You guys deal with that. Okay, I'll go over here. So if I'm just blocking like this, you can see there my shields are being broken <laughs> if my bots weren't so fucking broken uh, I was warned yeah. that certainty would lead me astray let's get a few more enemies there's a Indeed. flame rat somewhere you guys can take some of that alright I just don't want to deal with that one uh, we have a bunch of them coming from out here. That's great. Okay, so regular attacks against regular. Oh, I. Yeah, there's a leech. Also, with this weapon, the uh, push stab actually gives you a bit of movement forward. Um, so regular attacks like this is going up to something. Oh, there's a patrol. Okay, so these are armored units. That uh, oh, there's a hook rat. Okay, just a moment. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, it still has him? Okay, so if I'm just blocking like this, eventually I'm gonna run out of stamina, right? They're not hitting particularly hard. I actually got um, block cost reduction on this one. As you can see, that big armored dude that just rammed right into me, pun intended, uh, took all of my shields out. Uh, very powerful attacks can drain you completely. Um, but right now, just standing like this, have some some of them. God damn you, bots! Just clearing out everything. You're good boys, I know, I know. You're doing well. Uh, 
All right, yeah. Uh, yeah, attacks from behind uh, cost double stamina. Oh, hello. Okay, so I want to find an armored one. A rule of thumb, but this kind of goes into more advanced. Okay, so this guy, Mauler, is a big guy. That is a Pavel tag. You saw it. It ate all of, like, it destroyed all of my stamina in one. So, but I didn't actually lose health. So as long as you have any stamina, you will block those big attacks. But if you if they break all of your block, you kind of get staggered and stunned and can't move normally. Uh, you you want to avoid that. The best way to avoid that is simply dodge instead of blocking. Or block and dodge just to be sure that if you're... You see. All right. It would be really nice if I could just like... Uh, that would be the modded realm. Okay, there's an assassin somewhere. He got the assassin. Okay, there's the big guy coming, right? So you can just dodge to the side and he won't hit you. That hit would have taken all of my stamina. Uh, but if you just dodge it, it's fine. Where's the... Uh, do we know where that guy is? The big... Uh, oh, they got him. Okay. There's another big guy coming. Okay. There's another big guy coming. There's a couple of them. So you can dodge these. Okay, let's look at... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Game crashed. Man. That's interesting, because when we were streaming it yesterday, Caspar had the same issue. He was crashing all the time, and he said he had to reinstall the entire game. But that sucks ass. Let's try and start it up again and see if we can... Uh, uh, da, 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 da. If we don't have to actually reinstall the whole thing. Man, that would suck if I had to do that. One moment, please. Well, it wouldn't be a coffee cottage stream without some technical difficulties, right? I mean, it's uh, just as certain as the cursed dice of uh, Will Wheaton. If anyone know about that. If you want to see something funny, you should go and see the uh, critical role bit with Will Wheaton there, where he is... Uh, Displaying his amazing cursed dice. All right, come on, come on. I guess if I was to showcase this properly, uh, I would probably Ooh. need to do the modded realm and then spawn in like a storm vermin just to see how you can avoid its overheads by dodging and because there's a lot happening once you're actually in a map there's a lot of stuff happening and and my bots are your bots as i explained in the bots video are your actual characters and since all of my characters are max level with red gear and everything they are very very powerful which means on veteran they're gonna kill everything so you before i even get to showcase what i want to do they'll just be mowing down everything uh yeah but i I'm pretty sure you get the point. Um, so I'll just do a quick recap, which is uh, regular attacks. Just spam your attack button, left mouse button. You can do your charge attack, hold the attack button a little bit longer. Every weapon, oh, sorry, push attack by holding block and while holding block, doing a charge attack. And uh, you have the block for the defense, you have the dodge and you have the push. Um, no, I don't want to explain anymore because that goes into the advanced. I, I said a little bit about the sequence of the attacks. That this particular sword and dagger has a four attack sequence on its regular attacks. And it has a two attack sequence on its charge. So if you do a charge straight into another charge, if you keep doing this, it'll alternate between these two. Right? So it's a sequence of two that just repeats over and over again. And you could forego the first one by doing a push attack first and then that one. Again, uh, this goes into the manipulation of the chain of attacks that you can do, uh, which comes, I would say, under more advanced combat. When do you do certain, and certain weapons have very, very powerful combinations where you can use block to 
only get access to the most powerful attacks for certain situations. You can make weapons that are very, very good at clearing holds. You can do weapons that are very good at dealing with armored. And again, by utilizing the uh, block to reset the chain, you can pick specific attacks that you need at specific situations, which will make you much more efficient at both surviving and killing off important targets. Um, but we will go into that. I'll do another video where I will talk about how you combine defense and offense at the same time, how you position yourself, and then we will go into some of the weapons and the uh, properties and traits that they have, why certain weapons feel much more powerful than others in certain situations. And I think then we'll do a final one where we put everything together and I think the final one we will, we will discuss uh, breaking points. Breaking points are specific numbers that you need on your weapons charms and trinkets and necklace and so on in order to minimize the amount of attacks that you need to do in order to kill a specific enemy for example um my longbow on sienna is specifically calibrated to take out storm vermin in one hit on a body shot i don't have to do headshots i can just hit them in the body and they die on champion if i go legend I then need to change some of the other stats that I have. I need a bit more armor damage in order to do the same on Legend because they have more health. They, um, we also have to talk about, in the later ones, we have to talk about mob density and uh, stagger resistance and so on because the higher you go in difficulty, the more density they get. Each weapon has a specific cleave number, how many they can go through. Let's say a weapon has 100 cleave. If an enemy has 50 mass, you can go through two of them. Um, but the third one, it'll stop there because you don't have enough cleave to go through there. The higher the difficulty, the more mass each enemy gets. So you're gonna cleave through less enemies and you're not gonna be able to stagger the same as well as you can on lower difficulties. Which is also why you see high levels with great weapons if they play veteran or even recruit. When they're pushing things, they're literally falling on their ass. Like they're not just like being notched backwards, they're like being thrown across the map. Uh, Cause yeah, stagger, it's a fun thing. Okay, all right, so that was just my quick basic combat mechanics, offense and defense, shit. I'll do another one where uh, we can talk a little bit more about uh, people who are more intermediate with this. Uh, when you've had a, couple of maps uh, and you kind of figured out when to do the charge attacks and when to do regular attacks and which enemies uh, which attacks works well against you will probably also have noticed that certain weapons um, are much better against armored uh, than than others and certain weapons are much better against hordes than others because they have wide sweeps all that great stuff that we'll talk about in another video stop talking <laughs> so difficult this would be much easier if it was just if I wasn't actually live streaming. If it was just like I just did a video and just put it on YouTube and I could actually like clip it or whatever. Uh, okay, so you're gonna talk about how to calculate reaching breakpoints for different. Yeah, yeah. Yes. In another video, we can go through exactly what that break breaking uh, what those breaking points are if they haven't changed since back then. But anyway. Um, even without having access to these specifics, you can still try and reroll properties on your items and give yourself, uh, or if you have more of the same type of weapon, for example, if like if I go under the bows here, I have a few of each type, so with different uh, properties on them. So if I want to go on legend, it's a different bow that I'm going to use. If I want to focus more on killing bosses, it's a different bow that I'm going to use and a different trinket and a, uh, no, not trinket, a uh, charm. Right, I'll go with one that has more boss damage. Anyway, uh, yeah! Certain weapons, uh, the breaking points don't matter that much. Uh, if you can't get a two shot down to a one shot, 
use the uh, percentages elsewhere. If that makes sense. It'll make sense in the next video. Okay. Cut. I'll end the stream here. Then I'll start it back up again and I'll do a couple of coffee runs. And it's nothing to do with the tutorial. It's just me playing. If you want to jump in and join and have some fun. And uh, coffee runs is uh, champion difficulty with uh, Twitch set to 30 and 15 or 5, I think, between. And if we win, we get coffee. If we lose, we can't have any coffee till we win. Uh, yeah, so uh, for the tutorial, stop and cut it. Uh, this is where it, yeah. Uh, fuck. Yeah, I'm going to end the tutorial here. And uh, then I'll uh, start the stream right back up again.